Hi, and welcome to this lesson. We're going to cover modules. These are a really key concept for the exam. And we're going to be covering these in a lot more depth, but this is to give you an introduction to what they are. And the long and short of a module in its simplest form is a folder that contains other Terraform files. And that is it. The thing with Terraform is that if you have multiple files inside the folder when you run Terraform plan or apply, effectively what Terraform does is it opens up all the files looks what it needs to set up in all of them. And when you'd see Terraform plan, you'd see everything in there. And what modules do is they allow us to create blocks of reusable code. Now there are other resources, things like Terraform registry, which we are going to cover later in the course, where there are third party modules we can pull in to make our life much easier. For example, setting up a VPC. If you ever see the Terraform code for that, it's well over hundred lines of code. And to have a simple module where we pass in three or four parameters and it sets it up for us is amazing. So let's jump into the example and give this some context. So what we're going to do is create a new folder and I'm going to call this modules. Inside, we're going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this DB. So this is going to be a DB module. So back in the module folder, it's going to be a lot of jumping around here. We're going to create main.tf and inside the DB folder, we'll create db.tf. Close down these tabs and what we'll do is we are going to use this block of code here. And we're going to put that inside our main folder. So what we want to do is set up our provider. We don't need this depends on line. We're going to remove that. And then what we're going to do is inside our DB, we're going to copy the DB portion. We don't need to add a provider in db.tf because we've already set it up in main.tf. Now what we need to do is add our module block. So to do that, it's module. We give it a name. So we'll call this DB server. And then we set the source. Now because it's local, it's relevant to inside this folder. So we do dot forward slash and DB. What this is going to do is when we run Terraform plan, it's going to look inside this folder. It's going to see that there's a module. It's now going to look at this path. So inside here, then look inside DB, look at what it's got to set up. In this case, it's the DB server. And then it's going to spit out the output to say, okay, I have two EC2 instances to set up. And this is really the point I want to drive is that modules are simply folders with Terraform code in there. Whether it be local or remote, it's exactly the same concept. So now let's go ahead and plan it out. Let's go to our integrated terminal. Let's minimize this and CD into modules. Now let's run Terraform in it. Awesome. Now let's run Terraform plan. And we can already see here at the bottom, we've got two resources to add. So we've got DB and we've got our original EC2 instance. We can run Terraform apply and add in our new option, auto approve, and go ahead and deploy it. Awesome. So now what we've done is we've gone ahead and set up our two resources and we've used modules. Now let's go ahead and run Terraform destroy. And we use auto approve. Awesome. And that's gone ahead and destroyed the resources. So that's the key concept here. And I want to drive it again, that modules are folders with Terraform code inside whether it be local or remote, it's exactly the same concept. What we're going to do later in the course is dive into modules in a lot more depth. And this has been the crash course. This will get you up to speed to follow along with the course. I still recommend if you're still feeling a bit uncomfortable to check out my other Terraform course. And at this point to go through the challenges to really test and reaffirm your Terraform knowledge. If you're feeling confident, join me in the rest of the course as we're now going to dive into the certification material. I look forward to seeing you shortly. If you want to learn Terraform in depth with hands-on challenges and even get certified, make sure to go to warp-9.com.